Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching today. A very friendly do-it-yourself project. We are going to run you through the steps required to change a light switch. And in today's video, we are going to focus on a single light switch. Let's take a look. Here we are at the single light switch that we are going to replace. It is a green colored switch. We are going to replace it with a brand new white light switch. Locate the actual light. This is an outside light. And just by switching the light on, you can see that the light switch is still powered. Off, on, off. So we need to cut power to this switch. The light switch that we're working on is in the living room, so we are going to cut the power to the living room. And that is fuse 13 in our case. Back at the light switch, and I'm going to turn on the switch. On, off, on, off. The light no longer comes on. Grab a flathead screwdriver and remove both the top and lower screw. Once the screws are loose, we can remove the cover plate. Next, grab the electrical tester, shift it to the on position, the light turns green. And with the tip of the tester, you want to touch the tip to the actual wires that feed into the switch. If it stays green, the power is cut. If the green light turns red and this tool begins blinking, power is still being provided to the switch and you want to remove the power prior to going to the next step and removing this switch. After we verify the power has been cut, let's go ahead and remove these two Phillips screws, one on top, one on bottom. Both top and bottom Phillips screws are backed out. We can now slowly and carefully pull this entire light switch out and gain access to the rear side where the electrical wiring is. Ground wire and both hot wires. That one's good. That means that this electrical switch is still being provided electricity and it is not safe to work on. Back to the wire testing. As you can see, testing all three wires, the electrical tester stays green and does not beep, which means this electrical switch is now safe to work on. The next thing we want to do is locate the green screw. That is your ground wire. We want to remove that wire first. Green screw is backed out, and prior to removing that wire, take mental note how that wire goes into the screw. It is positioned in a way as the screw tightens, the actual wire that loops around the screw will tighten as the screw tightens. When it comes time to reinstall these wires, you want to make sure you install them the same way they are now. Ground wire is removed and shifted out of the way. Now let's direct our attention to the black hot wires. And in most cases, the black hot wires are looped around the brass screws and tightened down. However, in our case, they are in the actual circular slots and pressed in. So what we're gonna do is actually cut each of these off and start with a fresh portion of wire. Just like that. Next, grab a pair of wire crimpers and alleviate some coating on the tips of these actual wires. Unfortunately, I needed both hands to do it. As you can see, that little portion of the wire is now available, and there's the old coating. Grab some needle nose pliers and grab the tip of the wires and curl them in a way that they can loop around those new screws. Now it's time to reverse the steps and install the new switch. So as you can see on this side, two brass screws are where those two black hot wires are going to be reinstalled. And again, insert the actual wire in the direction, as you can see here, because as you tighten the screw, it will tighten that wire. First black wire is on and secure. Let's go ahead and insert the second wire and secure it with the brass screw. Second wire is on and secure. One last thing I want to point out prior to going to the opposite side for the green ground screw is take a very good look at where these wires actually sit in the grooves around the screws. You'll notice that the wires are not shifted all the way to the side where they are rubbing up against the plastic walls. So just try to make sure that they are properly set evenly in each slot. Now let's carefully and slowly shift the switch to the opposite side and reinstall the ground wire. Ground wire is on, properly positioned, and secure. It's now time to reposition the light switch back into the actual box, and you want to be very careful as you reposition the wires into that box. Do your best to do it in an organized manner. Light switch is repositioned in the box. The wires are carefully organized as we press light switch back. Next, reposition the Phillips screws into the actual holes, one on top, one on bottom. Now it's time to insert and secure the new white cover plate. Cover plate is on and secure and one thing I want to point out is something that the best of the best electricians do and this has to do with professional appearance. Notice how the top flathead screw and the bottom flathead screw are aligned the same and in the position that they are. That is how the professional electricians position the screws. We are going to turn power back onto the living room. 
back of the light switch and I want to verify as I turn it on, the exterior light will turn on. On, off, on, off. That's it, I hope the video helped. Hey, do us a huge favor, below the video you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notifications because once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again.